things there and I was filming loading a truck and it was a horrible video. <laughs> What is that, two or three? Have you ever imagined what life behind the stirrings of big earth mowers looks like? Or perhaps ever wondered how the brains behind work to construct and manage unimaginable properties? Well, if you do, you're in the right place, because today we shall dive into two such fantastic operators. Chris Goins from Let's Dig 18. Today, let's start breaking down two such hustlers in this profession who've made quite a name for themselves. And let's see who's the best. First is Chris Goins, a North Carolina excavator specializing in property management and refurbishment. He's famous for his YouTube channel called Let's Dig 18, where he regularly shares videos of his earth-moving projects and heavy equipment. Further north from Carolina, we have Matt Stella from West Pennsylvania, who is well recognized for his meteoric rise through the Diesel Creek channel, where he shares his work focusing on construction and restoring old and heavy equipment. Both of them have had a remarkable journey thus far over YouTube, but let's check who's the best. Channel stats. Let's Dig 18 has over 3,700 videos uploaded to his channel and has around 643,000 subscribers. Chris joined YouTube on 1st September 2007, followed by millions of daily viewers. Chris also has an Instagram handle with over 75,000 followers. On the other hand, Matt's Diesel Creek holds about 659,000 subscribers after joining YouTube on November 15, 2006. Matt has uploaded only 304 videos on his channel. Yup, Chris has almost 10 times the amount of video uploads. Matt has an Instagram handle with only 30,000 followers. Though both have an equal number of YouTube subscribers, the amount of Instagram followers is clearly dominated by Chris, considering the number of uploads. We declare Chris from Let's Dig 18 to be the winner of this round, net worth. As per our resources, Chris has amassed a huge net worth of about $4 million, a testament to his success and dedication. On the other hand, Matt is really private regarding his net worth and properties, but watching his channel's growth, we can definitely see that he's a rich guy. For those who don't know, he even has his own line of merchandise. This round will end up as a tie because both of them have a similar sized YouTube channel. Looking into the expensive stuff they own, the most prized collections for Chris in his garage include the big Volvo Excavator, which does much of his work for him, along with a convoy of bulldozers, wheeldozers, backloaders, dump trucks, and many more backing him up for any formidable missions to seem like a breeze. He also owns a Range Rover and a waterfront property in South Carolina, where he spends his time off sitting outside and watching the sunsets. Talking of Matt, he's always driving or fixing vintage vehicles. A few of his prized restorations include a 1957 auto car fixing, an abandoned dump truck left unused for more than 20 years. His collection also consists of a fleet of restored vehicles, and perhaps lesser budget expenses explain why he has more subscribers. He's often seen with his Caterpillar 977K, the giant wheel loader equipped with a 120 gallon fuel tank, 347 horsepower engine and a top speed of 30 miles per hour. Matt lives in a property near Pittsburgh and keeps his personal life away from the camera. If we now have to decide who's the best in this category, it's Chris. Now that's another win for him. Now, who is more skilled in these? Chris is known to have a strong background in operating heavy machinery and excavation. He's really skilled with everything he does in the field. On the other hand, Matt focuses most of his time on restoring old equipment and handling different excavation projects. They're good at what they do, so we feel that it's not fair to compare them based on skills. This round is going to end up as a tie too. With all of these major aspects covered, Chris has many more videos on his channel, giving his audience good content to those who enjoy doing his work. On the other hand, Matt takes every project he undertakes as a challenge and flexes his skills to engage his viewers. Our overall winner in this video has to be Let's Dig 18. He definitely deserves this for being so consistent with his content. Tell us whether you agree with us in the comments below. If you like the video, let us know by dropping a like. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel and never miss out on battles like these.